Editor-in-Chief Greg Migliori, the Subaru Impreza WRX is one of my favorite enthusiast sedans. It's invigorating, just a bit raw and makes you want to drive it more and more. Our tester has subtle blue paint and aggressive black wheels, which strike the right tone. It's sporty without being stupid in sight as black leather, red stitching, and plastics that are decent, or at least non-offensive good-looking car. Overall, I was excited for my one-night stunt in the WRX. I blitzed home, dashing in and out of traffic in the lower gears. This thing is like a hovercraft, and with the windows down and the engine growling and buzzing, I made record time the steering is tight, the clutch engagement is heavy, and the brakes have just the right amount of pedal depth I felt focused and in control I've always felt the WRX is the right impressive for me the STI is awesome, but unusable for many everyday driving experiences I could live with the WRX long term, and love it feeling WRX wide this morning in this hot at Subaru Lusa sedan. At 3 Lauder Blog, Pound Lauder Blogger, and check out Twitter.com slash 5HAWL4BVC4, Greg Rigliori, at Greg Rigliori, October 4, 2017, Associate Editor Joel Stocksdale. If you've ever lamented that turbo cars don't feel like turbo cars anymore, you should check out a WRX. It's 2.0 liter turbocharged flat 4 definitely takes a page from the picky boosted beasts of the past driven at low RPMS, and gently enough that boost still builds. The turbo is lucky and takes a while to hit peak boost. This means that in mild driving, you'll be just shy of the speed limit when the turbo whacks you in the back, and you'll have to jump back off the accelerator just a moment later but the rush of the turbo kicking in is still pretty entertaining, and a unique feeling that has been engineered out of a lot of other turbo cars if you drive the WRX hard, though, the turbo engine becomes much easier to work with.